Hey guys, so my eyes are already done as y'all can see. Um, I saw Tati do a video using a velvet um, powder that you mix into your foundation or use a setting powder that Urban Decay makes. Um, sorry, this is like my biggest pet peeve is bra strap showing. Um, so I was about to go buy it because um, I really liked her review on it and her face looked awesome so I was like gonna go buy it but then I was like well my RCMA powder is it RMCA RCMA I don't even know anymore um it's really fine so I was like let me see if I can try it with my powder um because it looked just like a setting powder or like a really fine setting powder so I was like let me see if I can do it with this before I go spend 40 bucks on this product so that's what we're doing. Um, I'm going to try it out. Hopefully if it looks good and looks like it's working, then we'll go on throughout the day. I got to clean. I got to run some errands. Um, so I'll wear it and kind of just check in and show y'all what I think. If it's a complete fail, I'll probably show that. I'll show that too if it's a complete fail. Um, and then I'll probably go get the, the, yeah, it's Urban Decay Velvet, I believe it's called. So yeah. Okay, so I am going to put everything into this little coffee mug. It's Albert's great grandma's. Um, so I like really love it. And I was like, what can I use for this? So I'm gonna pour it in there. I'm using wet and wild and soft beige. I like don't have a brush to really mix it all with. I had a bunch of cheap brushes that I bought from Amazon and sorry I wish y'all could see what I'm doing but I can't like hold it up here. I'm just pouring the foundation in here. I use a soft beige first and I'm going to do a little bit of the cream beige too. I was at the river and the lake yesterday so it doesn't look like it but I did get a little bit of color. Okay now my RCMA is in my air spun thing. Um, I like these containers more. So she did like a dime size. This scares me. This is like every rule being broken. <laughs> you do powder last. Okay, so. I feel like, is that enough? I don't want to overdo it though. Okay. Like what brush can I use to mix this with? Hmm. Okay, so I'm mixing it with a Sephora brush, I foundation brush I don't use. It's like this flat thing. My primer, I've already primed my face and everything. I'm gonna do my face like normal. I'm just gonna use this to... Hmm, why don't I use this foundation brush? This is way too much foundation. Eek. Okay, so I feel like it feels good. My foundation feels thicker, not in a bad way, just like I'm gonna need to go out with a beauty blender. I keep dipping it in, like here, getting more product. Like, girl, just. Work with all everything that's on your face. <laughs> okay, so the powder definitely is making it way full coverage. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go about my oh my gosh my normal routine. Yeah, it doesn't match. Uh, but I can bronze it up. I'm gonna go about my normal routine, and I'm just gonna kind of. Speed that up in the video. Um, so, yeah.
Okay, so now that my whole face is done, I am obsessed with this look. I don't know. I think I should have done a lighter, like a lighter pink, and matched it more to that pink, or just a nude. But whatever. I wanted to use my new Jeffree Star um, lippy. So um, back to the setting powder in my foundation. I actually really liked it. Um, I thought it might have been a disaster and I was like, oh, maybe I should just buy the Velvet um, Urban Decay setting powder, whatever it is. Um, but this worked it. My face looks, I mean, y'all saw before, it was like filled with blemishes and it's still like not perfect, but it made the foundation, um, like it wasn't, sli it made it thicker so it wasn't sliding around everywhere. Um, it wasn't as liquidy, but in a good way, and it made it more full coverage, um, and I feel like I didn't really have to set my face anymore, so I didn't set my face, I just set my under eye with a concealer, um, like where I put my concealer, I just set that, the rest I didn't set, um, so yeah, it does not look like the hot mess I thought it was going to look, it looks normal a little more full coverage without feeling full coverage like my face looks beat but it does not feel like it at all and that's like really important to me um so i'm gonna clean up go run some errands and just keep on checking back in i wish i could wear my hair down but i was at the river in the lake yesterday so i haven't washed it because i'm gonna work out and so i was like i'll just wait till after i work out to wash it so that's what's happening over here. So I'm gonna have like full beat face, hair a mess, and workout clothes. Okay, so we are two hours in. Yeah, just over two hours in. My face looks so good. It is, let me show y'all, um, 99 degrees, it says in my car. Um, here, let me show y'all real quick. Okay, y'all, so I wore this foundation setting powder mix for seven, eight hours. Um, eight hours, and I really liked it. Um, it was hot, I was out, I cleaned. Um, I wish I had something special to do because I'm obsessed with this eyeshadow, but I didn't. Oh, also, I'm wearing the Jeffree Lippy and that has lasted the eight hours for the most part like you can see it's a little it's rubbing off a tiny bit but i mean i've been eating drinking i had a lollipop a popsicle and it stayed um so i really like these uh jeffree star lippies i might buy some more so yeah i'm gonna probably continue to do the setting powder mix in my foundation um for when I want like a super glam look, um, or not glam, but like full coverage. I have time to sit down and do my makeup. Um, I just really liked how it made it full coverage and thicker. My makeup wasn't sliding. It's stayed pretty good on. So yeah, thanks for watching.